What's up guys, John here and welcome back to John Moon Studios. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Arranger track. If you are a songwriter or producer, this is a feature inside of Cubase that's going to make your arrangements come to life. With that being said, let's get right to it. Alright, so let's dive straight inside of Cubase and what we're going to do is we're going to load up Cubase with a piano and a drum track. I'm going to be using these two instruments to demonstrate the arranger track and how you possibly can use it. So here I have Keyscape and I'm going to load up a Rhodes custom piano and then in the Groove Agent I already have loaded up a drum sound so it's going to be the 29 minute Jupiter drum sound. So now we're going to create a musical example. We're going to do a verse section. We're going to do a chorus and a bridge or something like that so that we can see how we could take advantage of the arranger track. So let's go ahead and create the musical example and then we'll get started. So we finished the arrangement, I went ahead and added a bass track as well, just so we can add a little bit more excitement to the song. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to preview the song and we're going to get into the arranger track and see how we can use this to our advantage and move some of these pieces around without actually having to do anything. So let's go ahead and check out the tune. Perfect. So we have a nice groove. We have a nice tune. Now let's go ahead and activate our arranger track and get to changing and moving some pieces around here. So we're going to open up the arranger track and I'm going to throw it all the way up here at the top. So what we're looking at here looks complicated or something that you maybe wouldn't understand, but it's actually very simple. So we're going to get our pencil tool out and we are going to start arranging this track. So for this arrangement, every four measures, I change the section of the song. So what I'm going to do is grab the pencil tool and I'm going to drag this first one all the way up to the end of measure four. It's going to be called the A section, but we'll rename it in just a second. Now we're going to grab the B section and we're going to go all the way up to eight. And then we're going to grab the C section and drag it all the way out to 12. Now we have three equal sections, which now we can go in and we can call this maybe the verse, or we could leave it as A, B, and C, it really doesn't matter, but let's just say this is pre-chorus, and let's say the last section is going to be the chorus. So we've labeled our sections, we, we like the way it sounds, but what if we want to hear something else or try something different? So what we can do is we can go into these boxes and we could double click them to create something we call an arranger chain. So we can play each section. If we look at the left panel here, we can open it up by pressing this button. We can press play on verse, for example. And as you can see, it will continue looping the verse. And I could do the same thing with the pre-chorus and the chorus. Now for the arranger chain, let's say I want to hear my rendition of this tune and I want to hear it in a different order. I'm going to double click, for example, chorus. Let's do it backwards. Let's do chorus. Look at the arranger chain populate right here. I'm going to do pre-chorus and then I'm going to do verse. And now all I need to do is press play on the verse here. So check this out. And just like that, we have rearranged our track and started from the chorus all the way backwards to the verse. We have options here on the left side. If let's say we want to change this to two, we can have the chorus repeat twice. Press the little green play button and then I can press play either spacebar or the transport button down here. And this chorus section is going to repeat twice. Let's take a listen.
that's pretty awesome. You can hear your arrangements come to life and you can customize it however you want in this arranger track. On this right side here, you can see which repeat you're on or how many repeats a certain section has. So let's say I move to the pre-chorus and I press play. You're gonna see that it says it has one repeat. If I go to the chorus and press play, you're gonna see it shows two repeats. So it's a good way to visually see if you have more than two or three repeats especially if we have this closed like this. Another cool feature inside of the arranger track is that not only you can create one, but you can actually create two. So if you go to the E button here, you can go to where it says arranger track and to the right, you see a plus sign. If I hit a new chain, now I can create a separate arrangement. So let's say I want the pre-chorus, then verse, then the chorus. I'm doing this by double clicking. Look, it's highlighted green here. Now let's press play. Beautiful. Now, did I lose my first arrangement? No, I can always click on the drop menu here and hit arrangement one, and you're gonna see I have it saved here. You can also do this on the left side. You can rename it, duplicate it, and now for the very special feature that you really need to be careful with this, and it's called flatten the chain. If you flatten the chain either by pressing it here on the drop down menu or going to the E and pressing the flatten chain button, what it's going to do is it's going to conform your piece to the arrangement you chose. So what I recommend is if you are doing an arrangement and you are going to conform, saving a different copy or a separate copy with the conformed track. Why? Because once you conform, the arranger track will go away and disappear. And I'm not sure if Cubase 13 has this feature a little bit different. I haven't upgraded because right now I'm in between projects and I don't want any of my projects to have a crash. Let's see what happens with flatten chain once we press it. So I'm going to go into arrangement two, let's say, and this is the, the one that we like. This is the one that producer checked off. Let's go ahead and press flatten chain. So we need to see pre-chorus, verse, and chorus, which means this section of the pre-chorus, then verse, then chorus. Watch what happens. The song now was cut into pieces, and now the chorus, I'm sorry, the pre-chorus, the verse, and the chorus is going to be in the order that you chose. So let's take a listen. And just like that, we created our brand new arrangement. We moved all the pieces around without you having to go in each region and shifting it yourself. Cubase does this all for you. And if you are a songwriter, this is a perfect tool to master so that you can get all your arrangements ready to go. And you can also play different arrangements on the go, on the fly. Just one more heads up. If let's say you did make a mistake and you press flat and chain, you didn't lose your progress. If you just hit command Z and you undo what you did, you will go back to the screen that you had before with all of the arrangement tracks. So even though you do conform, thankfully you can revert back to where you were before and you didn't lose any of your progress. If I hit the drop down menu here, you could see I still have my arranger chain one and I have my arranger chain too. So you saw how powerful the arranger track is and how you can take advantage of using the arranger track inside of Cubase. Again, if you're a songwriter producer and you want to get that perfect version to send off, maybe to get mixed or mastered or just to get approval from your producers or even yourself just want to hear different versions or different sections being played at different times, the arranger tracks make it super easy for you to be able to do that. Again, my recommendation is save a copy before you flatten any chains. Just save a copy of the arrangement because even though you do have the undo feature, if you flatten the chain and then save it, close down Cubase and go back in, 
I don't believe you're going to be able to undo that and you're going to be stuck with the conformed version of your track. So with that being said, if you have any questions, just go ahead and drop your comments down below and I'll get to them as soon as possible. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe. Don't forget to share this video with all of your musician friends and I'll see you guys in the next video.